plaintiff, Mesut Karadic, says when he met the defendant online, he wasn't looking for a serious relationship. So they dated casually and were intimate. Mesut is suing because he claims the defendant was negligent and damaged his garage door. Defendant Lisa Allen admits that her relationship with Mesut wasn't serious, but they did agree to be exclusive. And that's why Lisa got angry when she realized Mesut was still meeting other women online. Lisa denies owing him for anything. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Defendant and I met uh, a few years ago through dating site and 2016. And after that, we texted like a couple days and then we decided to meet and we had a good time. We drink and talk and she's a very talkative person. And then after that, she invited me to her house. We start seeing each other. It wasn't, you know, an uh, exclusive relationship because I made my point when we met. How I many said, women you got? What's that? How many women you have? <laughs> None, Your Honor, because uh, currently I'm going. Well, it to... was exclusive. <laughs> currently, well, I'm going to school full time and go to work. Right. So, but if I don't you have... had nobody else, it was exclusive. That's the, yeah, in fact, that's the definition yeah. of exclusive. One. <laughs> Back. Go ahead. Phil. I didn't want to commit anyone. Whether you know it or not, you were exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. So, no, you told her you I... didn't want to tie yourself down. Yeah, uh, at the first meeting, and she was very nice, and I just wanted to be honest with her, and mm -hmm. I told her my situation, that I was going to school full-time and working full-time, so I wasn't looking for a serious relationship. Okay. And then I give her time. I said, think about it, you know, if you want to go for it, you know, just text me. So I went home, and she started texting me, and... How long uh, after getting home? Like a couple days. Oh, okay. So our texting turned into sexting, and... We, How far did you stay from her? What's that? How far did you all stay from each other? It's like 45 minutes. Okay. So she, I always wonder when people sext each yeah, other. Right. Why don't you just go over it? <laughs> great, great, great question. This no is your honor. Uh, go ahead. This <laughs> That's what I was wondering how far you lived. Go so, ahead. It wasn't like continued relationship. It was just like we were on for two months and now for one year or something like that. And then over the uh, course of how many years? It's like a few years. A few? Yeah, on and off. So she invited me to her house, and then we used to uh, we watched movie and drink and talk, and it was a good time. And except when she's under influence, it's just like different personality. You don't want to be around. What drinking? Yeah. And then, is she a mean drunk or sloppy yeah, type drunk? I love you, drunk. Under influence, she, I love she you gets, type she gets drunk. very jealous and oh, that's other That's a mean drunk. And, okay. Yeah. A mean drunk. No. You got two types of drunks And now. giving me a hard time. One is a mean, and I just turn on that. Another one's one of them lovable drunks. And I'd yeah, rather have a mean one than a lovable one, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. Them lovable ones get on my nerves. Go ahead, <laughs> ma'am. You a mean drunk or a guy or no. a lovable drunk? I'm a, yeah, lovable drunk. Lovable. I'm a lovable drunk All until right. I know he's lying to me about things and... Do you give me some I history get... on your association? Okay, well, I met Masood a couple years ago on a dating app. Mm -hmm. um, we got together, we hooked up, we've been on and off for a couple years. Why on and off, curious? Um, on for two months. Why? You fall out? Oh, no, because he's so busy, he has no time for me. No time. He can't have what he said, what we agreed to is we weren't going to have a serious relation, mm -hmm. but he wasn't going to be with anyone else either. Got so it. exclusive mm -hmm. at the time we're dating. Mm -hmm. And consistent. Obviously, you were seeking a consistent relationship, not yeah. a every other month here and there. Well, a, a couple breaks were like that. But mm -hmm. the last, over like the last, let's say six months, it was. Now why didn't you all? Why couldn't you all kind of strengthen that those ties? It's, because most people he, over a couple of years, even though they may start out non-exclusive, nothing serious, over a couple of years, they usually tighten up. What happened? He didn't want to, I mm -hmm. guess, because um, the excuse I get. He graduated. Is, yet? He's just busy. <laughs> what? He hadn't graduated <laughs> yet. 
He hasn't graduated oh, yet. That's, okay. And he doesn't keeps know flunking. if after he graduates, uh, he he's going to so stay. Get into a, he keeps flunking so he don't have to get into a serious <laughs> relationship. <laughs> all right. And did you all ultimately break ties all together? Well, okay, so what happened was we were on a Friday night, which is the only time he can ever see me. Mm -hmm. um, he was over at my house. We, I made dinner. We had some drinks, and, you know, mind you, he's so busy. But anyway, um, yeah, we were having a good time. This man got a wife and three kids. Yeah, I think he's now, got you a don't know, know, I know. So, I ain't never met him in my life. I think. I ain't never met this man in my life. I'm telling but you, he's got a double life. But I can just hear the story. Life. For his story, your story, that's what that equals. Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, well, that's how I think, too. Oh. So we are having fun, and you know, drinking and whatnot, and all of a sudden his Tinder app goes off. Bling! Match. <laughs> and um, I kind of just went like this, mm -hmm. and I went and sat down on the couch, and of course I have a little attitude. His Tinder app is going off with a match, and he's like, I don't like your attitude. And I'm like, well, I don't like your Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> and right away, he's like, don't disrespect me. I'm like, disrespect you? You're on Tinder. You don't have time for me, but you're on Tinder. Okay? So he has no ability to handle any sort of confrontation, so he flees. Good. Your Honor. I'm glad he did. Go ahead. This is <laughs> no, I'm saying as opposed to confrontation. I disagree. You're right. With that. This is the reason why we're here. And because, like she said, she invited me. I went over and I got notification from dating sites, and miraculously, she was familiar with the tone of notification. <laughs> and without seeing it, she, right, she knew a, lot, she knew a whole mean? lot about she was, it, not she was, to... She was right away, you got notification from Tinder. I said, yeah, I know. And then I even caught her. We were watching TV, and she was under influence again, and she was texting your other guy, saying that, oh, you're so cute. And she, she think I didn't see it, but I saw it, you know? I'm like, we agreed that it was a casual relationship, nothing else. Exclusive. And throughout the years, I, I learned that you're not supposed to be in this two situation. One is in front of your mom, standing in front of your mom when she's mad. And second one is being around a woman who's under influence. So I left. Who's mad because you're on the, Tinder. I left. That, that was it. And that's why we're here. Now, what is the lawsuit? What's the property damage? Your Honor, December 14, 2018, uh, around 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. at night, she came over to my place. I invited her. And she parked in front of my garage. She thought she parked, but she rolled into my garage door. <laughs> I don't know why, but, and then I, she came into my house. She said, I'm sorry, you know, I ran into your garage door. I'm going to pay everything. You know, it's my responsibility. I said, OK, that's fine. She called the garage door company, and they basically pre presented her that they, they, can, they, they can either charge full amounts or half of them up front and another half in two weeks. So after this incident, she refused to pay the second uh, payment. And then she never returned their phone call, never returned their text messages. And I texted her multiple times. And then she texted me back. She said, stop harassing me. And after that, I, I have the text message. I have the text message. Let me see what you have. Ma'am, you tell me what happened here. OK, so I came over to Mesut's house, um, coming back from Chicago. It was a blizzard outside as I was coming back. I texted him if I could park in his driveway. So it was slippery. and. I don't know how it happened, but I did run into his garage door. Long story short, he went online and looked up. He's like, well, we just need to get a new panel. It's not that big of a deal. And I agreed to pay that. I didn't agree to pay for a brand new door. And it was how much? Between $150 and $300. And that's what you agreed to pay for, and that was the final agreement? Well, because... He said that <laughs> um, because he said that it was this much and getting estimates, what I told him is I said, I need more estimates. Do you have the, the measurements for the door so we can, you know, check out? No, I w wasn't like ready Louis to just time. pay $1,000. I don't need your whole phone. I want Tinder ringing over here on me. <laughs> <laughs> 
wrong. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So I was driving. I was on a conference call. He calls, I need to talk to you. I've got the garage door people. And I'm like, I'm fresh. I was busy running. Anyway, I did agree to pay for it. I did. How much? The entire cost? I didn't say because as I, I paid it because he pressured me. He's very aggressive. He's you like, just said you agreed to. You said, I, I did agree to pay for the door. For and now you're saying damage. you agreed because he pressured you. Well, I did both. Okay, good. Both. Well, and you haven't finished paying for it. <laughs> what's, what's your defense there? My defense there is had it, I agreed to pay for the damage. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was going to need a brand new door. Did you know what the total amount was going to be? Nine ninety-five. And you paid half. I did. So why don't you think you should have to pay the other half? Because I thought it could be handled in a different way. Okay, From and it wasn't. You see how it's handled. You agreed to pay for it, and you paid half. What is that you want to show me? You're about to win, totally. but if you don't want to win, <laughs> let me see. Come on. <laughs> Everything included. Defendant, nine ninety-five? Question mark. Yes, you say. Perfect. They can call me for payment, or I can just send you the card number. All right, so you had a direct payment relationship with them, right? Because he set it up through my email. Right. And so why weren't you dealing with them afterwards? Because I didn't want to pay it. Oh, because you didn't want to pay them I didn't either. feel I should have to pay it, and I was a woman scorned. I got you. Mad. Okay. Judgment for the plaintiff. <laughs> have a good day. I'm happy with the outcome. Well, he lies. <laughs> he lies, he has other women, and he put me under the pressure that we were a serious relationship, and that's not the way it was. Plaintiff India Choice says her son has two children with the defendant, and her grandson, who is with the defendant in court today, is totally out of control. India claims she pressed charges on her grandson after he stole her car and totaled it and she's suing for the damages to the vehicle. Defendant Siobhan Moore says her 16-year-old has been in counseling since the age of nine, but she insists he has never been in any serious trouble with the law. Siobhan says she's desperate for her son to repair his relationship with India. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. May now be seated. Start with you. Cybon and I have known each other for approximately 16, 17 years. Her and my son, Rakim, have two children together. Devon, which is here now, who I affectionately call Pop. Uh, Siobhan and I, we get along pretty much, but we share differences when it comes to Devon. He is totally out of control, and I think that she is a bit overprotective of that. Out of control in what way? A out of control. He steals, he lies, he runs away from home, he destroys property. Why you put it on her, though? I put, I, I put it on her and, and his father. I didn't hear that. Oh, yeah. Maybe they, I missed they, that they part. Share, they share, they share him together. I know, but you didn't mention him. Oh, well. And most wayward boys, it's because their fathers aren't in their lives. The mothers are the ones that save those boys okay. when the father's not around. Where are your son at today? He wouldn't come? He wouldn't come. Oh. Oh. I think it's a punk move, but... So your grandson is out of control. Have you all recommended or discussed counseling? Yes. He's gone? No. Okay. Not that I, not that I'm aware of. Okay, who did you discuss it with? Uh, my son and. What did they say? Did they respond favorably? Um, we tried to get some help, but. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell me about your son? Because we're gonna be on that for a minute before we get to this car. 
Um, my son, he's 16 years old. Dovan been through counseling since he was nine years old. He had behavior issues within school. He was just hanging out with the wrong people. So he was trying to just be cool. So whatever they did, he wanted to be cool too. But I did Boys and Girls Club. I did Big Brother, Big Sister. He had in counseling, out counseling. Even after he crashed our car, Mm -hmm. I put him okay, through a, a six-week... That's what we're here for, week. crashing the car. Let me ask you about the counseling. What did the therapist tell you? To... Um, he's not a bad kid. He's just trying to find his mojo. Can I say he's trying to find his style and where he want to be How in life? How many times has he been convicted of a crime? Never. How many times None. has he been charged with a serious crime? None. She says he's committing some serious crime. Only thing he have done to her and I was stole her car and stole um, money from her. That's it. At two different times? Yes. Where did he steal the money from? Out her house. Okay, one of the things you should not do is minimize in any way the troubles that your son's experiencing. And it sounds like that's what you're doing. When you say the only thing he's done is stole a car and her money. <laughs> yeah, that's a big crime. No, when you said that, I thought you were saying, like, other as in or burglaries or murdering and going to the store. Felonies. And yeah, Felon things. I'm, I'm talking felonies. Okay. I'm talking things that will send you to prison for years. Yes. And what I just mentioned will. Yes. All right, ma'am. That's for you and his father. Does he live in the household, his father? No. Okay. Is he part of his life? Yes, he is. Oh, how often does he communicate and involve every day. himself? They talk every day. Every day. And he still it's can't do on. anything every day. with him? He can. Yes, he can. can it's just not do? what it seems like to, um, what his grandmother is expressing to you. Well, she expressed that he's stealing I mean, cars and now, stealing after, money. Yes, he did. He took the money, but things have changed after that. He still could have counseling and still have other help because he needed okay. as a young man to still to, to go on in life. But he, things have gotten better. From from the time I said from nine when he was having okay. behavior issues. Good. Things so this have uh, happened better. years ago, what you're suing about, because she said things have gotten better. So when was it that sounded like he stole your car? When was that? Well, I can tell you that he... Two stole... years ago? Try last year. What month last year? He stole the car in August, but he stole the money before, earlier in the part of... August of 18, he stole your car. How much money did he steal from you? $360. So what has happened since that time? Sounds like she's admitting it. Yes, um... Have you asked for reimbursement? What has I been discussed? I have asked. Um, I've asked my son. She, Cybar gave me $500. My son said that he was going to give me $3,000, but he knows how to um, squeeze the buffalo off a nickel, and I didn't think that he was going to give it to me. And here it is a year later, just about, and he hasn't given me a dime. I'm holding both of them responsible, but like I said, he, he, he didn't want to come. Mm -hmm. um, don't want to be involved. Don't I don't want to speak for a son and his woman. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Got it. He, Go ahead. He, um, my son is a street person. He's been in jail. How long was he in jail? Maybe a good 10 on All right. Was he in his life those 10 years every day? Talk to him, oversee him every day? Your Honor, the time she's talking about has nothing to do with me. It was way before my time. And he was here for the whole 16 years Oh, he's never been in life. prison during his life. No, that's before that she's talking about. It's before, before my time. He's never been in prison since the war. Is he still in the street? No. Over, oh, he been... Ma'am, your son you're talking about. <sighs> okay, what, what is the question, y'all? Is he still a street guy? And was he in prison any point during this kid's life? He has been in prison one time. During this child's life? During, during his life. Okay, she says no. Let's move on to the $3,000 because you believe that your son is not responsible. So, you have the right to sue her. They are jointly and severally responsible. You can sue both or you can sue one. Today, you've chosen to sue her. So... What happened with the car exactly? You said it was stolen. Give me the details. On August 15th of last year, um, Pop came to my apartment, stole my keys, stole my car. How did you get into garage. your apartment? I live in an apartment complex. Um, I leave my door open because he's not the only grandchild I have. So he wasn't already there who, who when was? he took it? 
He wasn't already in the no. house? Oh, by... no, no. What else, ma'am? He came in, took the car, and then what happened? Took the keys, took the car. I didn't find out about it until the next day, where I see my car is all busted up. What did you come to find out? Occurred? Well, the original story was that I was... that they seen me bring the car in the mm -hmm. garage, and I was drunk, and they seen me back it up into the fence. <laughs> that was what I was first hit with. I had to think about that thing for a second. <laughs> And then I was like, wait, wait a minute, hold up. I, I was asleep last night. And then I start putting the pieces together. My husband said, Pop was here last night. And I start asking questions and then things started to unwind. Then I went to the management and asked them to pull the tape, the videotape, which I, I, you have a copy of. We're gonna see this right now. That's my car. And that is my grandson. Uh. All right, and so after you viewed the tape. Um, I, I did a police report, which I have right here. Let's see, please. Mm -hmm. And um, the four of us got together, and um, we went to family court. I, I believe that's what it was, family Good. court, because I pressed charges. Good. But the police officer laid it on the line and told us there was nothing that was going to be done to him because they have so much crime, you know, all this other stuff going on, that auto theft was not in the top ten. So we never even went Where you all Jersey. live? Jersey. What part? Newark. Um, so nothing was Closest done. Closest thing to Detroit, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. So, you know, again, you know, he gets away scot-free with what he's doing. I tried to get him into the Scared Straight program, uh, but he was too young. He's 15. You need to be 16. My daughter gave his mother information about Steve Harvey, you know, for the Wayward Boys. She didn't follow through. So that's, that's where we, we differ. I don't think she, you know, it's, it's work. No, I can tell the way work. she's defending him. She's not ready. She'll deal with it. All right, okay. ma'am, well, tell me but about I, the car. He had counseling. For him. I'm scared like, for him. No, don't be scared for him because he had counseling. Okay, so it's time like for said, medicine. Nine, if, if counseling he didn't, didn't work. No medicine. If, he had counseling. Mm -hmm. He went to, even when this happened to her car, he had counseling. Okay, how often did he go? Probably he went, he went to counseling okay. maybe for about three, four years. Why are you mad at me? I'm, I'm trying not, to help you and your son. Go right ahead. Just make sure you got your gas money to visit him in prison. I'm not Hopefully upset he at won't nobody. be dead. Hopefully he won't get killed. Whatever God they ain't calls playing him, in I'm ready. Tell me about this 3000 That's what I want to know about. About the 3000 yeah. When it happened, I gave her $500. I uh -huh. told her I was not responsible for the remainder of the balance. Mm -hmm. was between her and her yep. son. Mm -hmm. And things went haywire between them two. So well, now I stand before mm -hmm. you today mm -hmm. because I'm standing up and I want to get this done. I want them two to have a relationship. You know how to get it done? Yeah, you pay her. That's like. how you get it well, done. done. $3,000 is your judgment. And I'll Good luck to you and your it. son. This is, I'm glad that this is all over with. I pray that we are still family and Pop and I will um, continue our mother-grand-grandmother relationship and me and her can still be funny together. Plaintiff Eddie Torres says his sister-in-law dated the defendant, and he's nothing but a drunk. Eddie claims the defendant once tried to get his pit bull to attack him, and he's suing because the defendant vandalized his car, and he has the video to prove it. Defendant Jonathan Barrent claims Eddie is a gangbanger who cooks meth, and Jonathan insists he never touched Eddie's car. Jonathan is countersuing, because he claims Eddie smashed his car window, and he caught the whole thing on tape. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Well, I know him through my sister-in-law. He's 
I guess they're dating. He is, um, drinks a lot, he's alcoholic. How long have you known him? Probably about six months. How um, often are you around him? Not very often, I try to stay away. How do you know he's an alcoholic? Because he's always drinking in the house, arguing with you my sister-in-law. You said you don't see him, you don't, you're not around him. Well, when I, we have two separate houses, uh -huh. live in the back house, and he'll stay in the front house. But you still never see him. Well, I see him sometimes. You know, when they're arguing, when I Sometimes walk in. Sometimes it's not enough to determine he's an alcoholic. Okay. An alcoholic drinks all day. They have to have it. Uh, it's an addiction. And if they don't get it, they go into D DTs, I think they call it. Um, so unless you have some evidence that this man is drinking every day or he's been in the hospital for alcohol-related disease, how can you conclude he's an alcoholic? Is this gossip? No, it's, no, it's not, sir. Well, then you don't know. You don't see him enough to know. Are you an alcoholic? No, I'm not, Your Honor. When you stop. <laughs> drink. I mean, you drink? Occasionally, yes, I do. A lot? Oh, no, just beer. All right. Tell me uh, anything else you want me to know that other than you believe he is an alcoholic because when you see him from time to time, he's drinking? Well, he came to my house. He damaged my vehicle. I got my video. I'm scratching my car okay. up. Let me get some background from you first, and then we'll get to the specifics. All right. Well, Eddie's a real scary guy. He used to be a meth cook for the local gangs. He hates me because he hates my ex-girlfriend. He's threatened me too many times to count. He's even tried to kick my dog. I'm receiving death threats from an unknown number that's got to be Eddie or, About his what? or his gang friends. I have a transcript here. Why do they want to kill you? Oh, I have no idea, but it, it, it's, it says right here is that- it from him? I believe it is. Okay, ask him then why he wants to kill you. Why do you want to kill me, Eddie? I have no idea. You don't know? <laughs> they, don't, they don't know why he want to kill you. He just does. Well, <laughs> well- He said he don't need a reason. He just does. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me see the threat. Yes, sir. <laughs> Eddie said he gonna kill you if you don't give him that 3,000. <laughs> oh, you act like you didn't know. It's the first sentence. <laughs> no, it doesn't say that, Eddie. Eddie looking like he actually said it. <laughs> <laughs> when I find you, you are dead. Who is this? Is this Eddie? I'm gonna pay you. I'm going to pay you for your damages, Eddie. <laughs> you owe it? Well, I assumed that that would, would... We got the green light on your address. <laughs> this is cartel. <laughs> no, these orders came from not, uh, up high, sir. Yes, they did. You know, I'm not going to get you in here. Stop all that shaking and shivering. <laughs> You're not going to get him in here, are you, Eddie? Yeah, he said he ain't going to get him in here. <laughs> well, it's Chicago, so, you know. You'll let him out of town, won't you? Right. He said he'll let you out of town. Go ahead. <laughs> what happened, sir, to cause you to sue him about your car damages today? Well, he came over to my house telling me that I scratched his car, assuming that I scratched his car. And I kept telling him, I go, dude, I don't have nothing to do with your car. I touch your car. Well, I getting ready to go to work. I leave the work. He's in the, he goes in the house, yelling at my wife, threatening my wife, telling her all kinds of stuff. I got the text messages You don't here. work, Let's Eddie. see, what are you saying to your wife? You don't work, Eddie. <laughs> you don't have a job. <laughs> Eddie Therese is a call me now, was. That's him. <laughs> he's, the one that's, he's the one that's texting You're next. He that's, talked that's to your my wife, wife like this? That's not, yeah. I can't even repeat all this. That's everything he texted her, saying that he's gonna, her Chrysler 300's next in the driveway. And then he called no, her these names. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wish you would call my wife a <laughs> T. No, T. That, that and wasn't. Then bring it on, you. <laughs> Man, what, what? Show me what he wrote to you. That's uh, some of that's not to me too. Yeah, all he talked, all he talked about was suing you. He didn't tell you all that. That's correct, Your Honor. I didn't threaten him or his wife. Go ahead. I got him on video right here, sir. Him 
bringing a pit bull over to attack me to my house. Let me see this. He's telling me this dog's gonna kill you. It's gonna eat you up. That's me walking out of my yard. That dog don't scare me. It's a pet. He's trying to get that dog to attack me right there. No, I sure wasn't. There he is. Why are you walking towards me then? Then he runs. I'm not trying to get. <laughs> are you run? You got the pit bull. Yeah. <laughs> that looks pretty scary, doesn't it, Eddie? <laughs> you got the pit bull, and you run. <laughs> He's in my he's at my house. I'm not at his house. Yeah, he's coming clear. to my it house. It's pretty clear that he was coming there threatening in a threatening manner. Uh, the car damages, sir. It's what on do you video say to too. This? What's that? It's on video too. Him scratching my car up. Let's see that. This is it. That's my sister-in-law. Before he scratched my car, he's walking back. She's walking back to the house. And look, there he is, right there. <laughs> pops, pops up. Watch this. He, he didn't do enough damage. So he's going back for more. And watch, and watch, when he walks away, she just broke up with him. There's, there's nothing. Now the whole side of my car is screwed up. The gouges in the car. Why do you are, say he did that to you? Why I, does he have such a beef your, with you? Your Honor. Because my sister-in-law just screwed up with, just dumped him. Right. And he's so mad he at me. take it out on you. Yeah. That's not what happened, Your Honor. Tell me what happened. Those videos were from during the day. Mm -hmm. The damage occurred at night. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay? So I was oh, you walking back and forth mm -hmm. to their front door. That's all. None of that shows me doing any damage to his vehicle yes, whatsoever. Yes, it does. Not during the day. No, it doesn't. That's what I just saw does. You get high? No, I don't. Okay. But I, I admit Maybe to the you might have been right on that drunk. I admit to the damage, yeah. Your Honor, but it occurred when the sun was down. It was okay. dark. All right. You admit right. to it? That's I admit all we to need it. To know. All right. Not and your during the day. Claim, how does he owe you? Well, I have a video of that as well. And I have transcripts. What did he do? He got your back? Oh, yes, he did. All right. Let's so, see how he got your back. Can I, can I give you the What transcript? is it? This is a transcript so you can follow. I believe there might be two copies there. Let's see. No, I'm not going to jail. You are. You're not getting that car. F you, bruh. Yeah, you. <laughs> Get the, You're not leaving the this out of my way, bruh. You're not leaving this car, punk. punk. Watch. You're not leaving this car. Boy, what are you going to do? I'll beat the out of you. Yeah, you, we got that right here. Terrorists are threatening me. Threaten me again. Go ahead, you'll beat me up? Yeah, I will. Yeah? yeah there you go, pal. Threatening my wife? You know what, you know what, that, you know what that gets you? Okay. That's called <laughs> attempted murder. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you will. You're threatening me? Threatening me? Say it again. Threaten me. Go ahead. Threaten me. Threaten me. Threaten me. Whoa, bruh. Whoa. Oh, yeah? I got this all on film. Cops are coming right now. See him all running around like he's all high on something. He just keeps running around, concussing me out. I wasn't yes. on drugs. I was working, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. He's he's got his gang members out chasing me around. Mm -hmm. He's got all different kinds of. I bet you won't talk to nobody else's wife like that again. <laughs> well, that's the least he would I do. I never talked to Sir, a wife. Sir, if like you spoke to my wife like that, the gangs wouldn't get a chance I to never, get to you. I never. I never spoke to my wife like the that. The gangs wouldn't have a chance to get to you. Sir, I'm going to grant your judgment for the damages that I saw him committing, and I'm going to grant your judgment for the damages I saw him committing. So, 3656 for you, and 1646 for you. And have a good day. Right. That's my judgment. I just want to put all this in, my, in the past and, and wrap it up. Plaintiff Karen Raymond says her son dated the defendant and their relationship was riddled with drugs and violence. Karen is suing because she claims her son took her car to the defendant's home and the defendant kicked it during a fit of rage. And she has the video to prove it.
Defendant Claudia Cartano Estrada says Karen's son is an abusive drunk, and Karen's only suing because she's mad that Claudia put him in jail. Claudia insists Karen is overcharging her for the car damages. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Let's start with you. Uh, they've had a toxic relationship for about nine years. The, the two of defendant you? and my son, yes. Oh, son. Mm -hmm. um, they've done uh, drugs during this relationship. He's been clean now probably about two, three years. I'm not sure if, she's st if she is or not. Um, the police Are they been, together? No, okay. not at the moment, and hopefully not ever again. <laughs> um, the police have been involved um, over the course of this nine years. For what for, type of things? Uh, false accusations of domestic abuse, violence, um, things like that that have gotten him in trouble. He never wanted to cause harm to her, so he would take blame for a lot of things. Okay. You know, he's not an angel either. I mean, he's done a lot of wrong things. So it was just a ridiculous relationship. Um, over these years that they're together, she has ruined, totaled his ex's car. She totally totaled it. She went to jail in 2010 for that. Okay. And then she destroyed another car, which was his. Do you honor, I never went to jail for that. Go ahead, and you tell me uh, what well, you want me to know. First of all, I just wanted to tell you that the only reason why she's suing me is because she's mad that I put her son in jail, okay? That's not true. Quiet. Her son, she didn't say a word while you spoke, ma'am, so please be quiet. Okay. Go ahead. Her son is 32 years old. He's still living with his mom, okay? At this point, like she said, we had a toxic relationship. Yes, we did. But in 2014, I did went to jail for eight months for immigration case. It was nothing violence, nothing against the car or whatever she said. It, it was, was for burglary. over immigration. And you can say, see in the record. Do you have any evidence of all this, all these crimes you're accusing her of? Yep, she ha right. I do. Let's see. Go ahead, ma'am. She says you were making false allegations uh, against her son that ruined his life. So, was he ever found guilty of anything? Yes, he had. Um, a Once, lot of times twice, we, what? A lot of times we called the police because mm -hmm. he was always drunk mm -hmm. and he was always abusing mm -hmm. me while he was drunk. She says it was always That's you. That's true. So, was anyone sentenced? Was anyone convicted of anything? Her son was convicted. Of Her son domestic at this point violence? Of domestic violence. Did you know that? Yes, she does know that. Did you know that? Oh, yes, she know that. Pardon, I... Do you know that your son was convicted for domestic violence? He was in the past, Okay, yes. why don't you talk about his record? How much he no, been he, in jail? He's not, Hand no, me that record. He's not an you angel. You got that though. record? No, I don't. Well, then. No, I don't. To get the vehicle back. This has nothing uh, to do. I, this is talking about the vehicle. I've tried. This is talking about the vehicle. I've tried many times to get along and. No, you said you were providing me things regarding the, uh, her that's... going to jail. For oh, the I'm car sorry, that no, I damaged. What do you mean you're sorry? I, that's what we I were talking about. Hood. You continued to interrupt me, oh. and then I said, Do you have evidence? You immediately said yes, and you began to dig for the evidence, and you gave me no such thing. This is totally unrelated to the time she spent in jail or the criminal record that you say she had. That's so you've said all these things about these women, this woman, okay. and then you said you have the paperwork to back it up. Okay, and right. you have no such thing. I do. So have... you've disparaged this woman's reputation in front of millions of people, alleging she has been to jail for abusing your son when the case is the opposite. Your son has been convicted by your own admission. You misled me, so I probably won't be able to believe much of what you say today. So go ahead, ma'am. What else I you do want me to know? I just came... Ma'am, please okay. let her finish. I just came to tell you, Your Honor, I'm not here to tell you about all the, the stuff that we did together. I'm here because she's suing me for $2,300 over a mirror that I did damage. I did damage the mirror. Okay, let me get to her. It's her lawsuit, so she can tell me about that. Tell me about the $2,010 of car damage. I do have an Thank estimate you. and a video that if tell you'd like to happened. see the video. Tell me what happened first. On October 7th, my son took my car over to her house. Where's he at now, by the way? He's Hiding. in jail right now, waiting. He's in jail again. 
Yeah. <laughs> Good question. You're talking about her being in jail yeah. a lot of the time. Go ahead, ma'am. Like I said, they had October, yeah. what happened in October? He took my car over to her house. She called him up to help her pay a bill. And she went crazy, like she does a lot of times. So he went. He actually took a video. He did that several times to protect himself. Okay, so we'll see it. This is gonna show her going crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, good. <laughs> All right. You ain't gonna run this time. You ain't gonna run this. It's dead in my wallet. Tell me what went on here. Okay, um, that day he was gonna give me a ride to get a money order for my rent. When I, as soon as I get in the car, I could smell his alcohol and his breath. And I tell him, you know what? Let's not do this because this happened before. Every time you're drunk, we always get into it. He said, no, I'm not gonna leave. I wanna go inside your house because you have a party Jordan's shoes that I need to recover for, from your house. And I said, no, you're not gonna go in my house because I already know how it's gonna go down. As soon as I got out of the car, he grabbed my purse. He threw my purse on the street like this. And I go out of the car looking for the, for the money because I was going to get money order for my rent. It was $600 cash, and I had $300 on my bank account. So the $600 were gone. That's why I, I was crying. That's why I, I kicked the mirror because I was so desperate saying, where is my money, dude? Where is my money? Give me my well, money. you saying, where is my money or wallet? My wallet, okay, my wallet, because my wallet was, my, my money was in my wallet, that's I'm sorry. I, say. I say, give me my wallet, okay. please. That's all you I said. You were angered and upset that he uh, would not give you your wallet or your money. Yes, sir, that's why I was so upset. It out. What did you want to say, ma'am? Um, she's very dramatic. Every time they had a fight, it was the same situation where he, she Kept, said he that he told, stole. He stole her wallet and wouldn't let her get was, it back. That was the same situation. You say every time they got together, he stole the wallet. So, yeah, it was oh, a toxic okay. relationship. That's why he's in jail. He needed to be in the longer term if he's stealing wallets now. Not only is he beating on the woman, he's stealing money from her. Why don't you prosecute him for that, too? She says he does it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me see your estimate, ma'am, and, uh... Ma'am, what do you believe? You know that you're, uh, I'm sure, liable for this, so what is I your am, defense? I am, I am, I am, Your Honor, but I'm, at this point, I don't want to pay $2,100 or whatever she's asking for. It's too much money over a mirror. Did you get a different, um... I can, I, I, I look I online, and, and, and that mirror can cost you, like, $120, Where not $2,000. you dollars. you have that estimate? Yeah, well, not, I don't have it on that, me, but I did look on the, on the internet. You should have brought something, ma'am. She has her estimate, and... But, I mean, come on, an estimate for $2,000 over a mirror? I don't know. She, if, they, if, if that's what they tell her it costs, yeah. Okay. You don't have one that says it costs any less. Secretary, I have to make sure all this is just for the um, mirror, however. <laughs> front doorbell, front doorbell, mirror, mirror, door outer, yeah, you were kicking the door, so the door as well, pocket license plate, and yeah, cover the car exterior, yeah, everything was associated with what you were doing. $2,009.91 is your judgment. Have a good day. Thank you. No, nothing. I just, I hope everything is good and I don't have nothing to do with her or her son eh, ever again. That's it. That's good. Get your anger in check, girlfriend. I Jeez. will. Keep taking care of you, boy. Oh, whatever. Keep have him living with you until he's 50. Yeah, well, who you put him there? Know. You did. Oh, please. Plaintiff Jack Chorbagian dated the defendant, and they lived together while in college. Jack claims a month after they moved in together, he realized the defendant was insane because she constantly accused him of cheating. He's suing her for rent and damaged property. Defendant Lauren Jones says Jack was always flirty with other women, and she insists he did cheat on her. Lauren claims after they broke up, Jack brought another woman to the apartment they shared, and she lost it. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. All right, well, I'll start off by telling you about mine and Lauren's background. 
So we started dating my junior year of high school. We uh, got together because we just knew each other from some friends, and things were great. Like, I'd even go as far as saying she was my first love. But we ended up going to college together, where I got us an apartment off campus, and things were just going great in September. And then in October, I found out she was insane. How so? Well, Your Honor, I took her to this Halloween party a couple of my friends were putting on. You know, we had them there, we had some of their girlfriends, and other friends were just there. And so when I was there, I started talking to one of these girls. And then Lauren came up to me, and she started berating me, like, Jack, what are you doing? Why are you cheating on me? You cannot be doing this. And I said, Lauren, chillax. <laughs> we're just having a conversation. But from there, everything kind of started spiraling downhill. We got home later that night, and she again was accusing me of cheating. And then for the next week, every time I so much as looked at a girl, Lauren went, Jack. But before that night, she had not been accusatory of you frequently? Before, Your Honor, before that night, there was nothing. It was like All right, paradise. Well, maybe she before legitimately that... felt that way, so why couldn't you deal with it in that manner? You sounded like a lawyer today. You couldn't make your case to your own <laughs> woman. Your Honor, well, he did cheat on me before that. I never cheated on you. What are you talking about? You did. No, I didn't. Yes. Someone, she came up to me and told me, she's like, hey, just Did you mention know. that to him? Yeah, I told him. And what did he say? He said he never did it. He denied it. And now he doesn't remember it. Apparently. <laughs> then what? And then I kept telling her, Lauren, I'm not cheating on you. I'm sorry you feel this way, but I'm really not. And then it was a week after that initial Halloween party when she had her suspicions that I said, Lauren, I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. Enough's enough. You just won't believe me. If you don't trust me, you can't have a relationship. Okay, let me hear from you. All right, well, we started dating in junior year, and he was always very flirty with other girls. Uh, he would put his arm around them and, like, make jokes with them and all this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, eventually I found out he did cheat on me. And How I was, did you find out? Uh, in, I think it was our senior year, a girl came up to me and oh, said... Oh, the one you're referring to that he didn't remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She came up to me and said... Like, hey, I feel really bad about this, but I just wanted to let you know Jack and I hooked up the other day. And uh, Why didn't you mention it to him then? I did. I, talk, I talked okay. to him about so it. he just totally has memory loss. All right. We talked about it, but he, we decided to move past it. Uh, we went to college. We moved in together. Um, and first year? First year of college. You moved in together? Yeah. The first semester? Yeah. Your parents were all right with that? We've been together for a long time, you know? They liked us together. Okay. They liked him. All right. Um, and uh, he, well, on Halloween, he was flirting with another girl. He had his arm around her the entire night. They were really, really close. I had perfect reason to think well, that they- Well, they were sitting down? They were sitting down. They were really- And he close. had his arm around her all evening, yeah. sitting down. Where were you sitting? I was talking to some other friends across the room. You never came to sit down? No, he seemed busy. Okay. So uh, we talked about it and eventually we broke up. Uh, but then about a month later, we hooked up again. And I assumed that meant that we were back together and everything was fine. And then a couple days later, he brings home this other girl and they start moving towards his bedroom. Mm. And I lost it pretty much, I think. I may have taken it a bit too far. What'd you do? A bit too far. I... You tell me. Let me get back to him now. All right. Well, you got to hear this part. Mm -hmm. So she saw me walk in. She saw me walking with this other girl. And then she sees me as other girl moving towards the bedroom or whatever. And she picks up my baseball bat I have on my wall. She starts swinging it well, all Let me around. ask you, why'd you bring another woman home? You asked to be swung at. Why'd I, don't I bring another woman what home? What was on your mind? What'd you think was going to happen? <laughs> Thinks he was gonna have dinner prepared for you all? No. What did you think would happen? If what was on your mind to think you could bring a woman to the home uh, where you and your either girlfriend or at that point a strange girlfriend lived? Your Honor, we'd been broken up for a month at that point. Oh, it was a, a month. month. That's yeah, an after half, yeah, that's an eternity. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You break up one month and you march a woman into the house that she is paying on and the house that you all lived in or apartment that you all have lived in. Okay. Your Honor, that's the thing. She never actually paid me for the apartment. Oh, so that's the reason you felt the liberty to bring another woman in. No, you're correct. I believe it was distasteful. And you know, I'm a college student. I'm a young man. I should have been better about that.
Yeah. You're absolutely correct. But what she did next was not okay. Tell me what happened. All right, like I was saying, she took my baseball bat I had just sitting around. She was flinging it all around. And then she took it to my smart TV. <laughs> and she just shattered the whole thing. And then after that, she kind of like flipped off the bat. She walked over to the kitchen, grabbed my antique plates my mom got me if I ever wanted to have dinner with a priest or something. That's what she said to me. <laughs> so she took the antique plates and she started chucking them all around like they were Frisbees. Those all broke. Okay. Well, you should offer a word of gratitude to her. <laughs> to my mother? No, to her. <laughs> Many women would have bust you upside the head with that baseball bat. <clears throat> you, well, you should say thank you for sparing me. All right, ma'am. Um, sounds like you're admitting to destroying the property. Let's talk about the rent, though. Let's yes, go sir. there first. How does she owe you for what months? All right, well, what your was Honor, the agreement first. Yes, here I have a lease between my landlord, if uh, you'd like to look at it. You can tell it. me first. All right, of course. So we, I had a deal together with my landlord where it would be $800 a month for the months of September, October, and November. And then we verbally extended that to include January, so I paid another $800. And this whole while, the expectation going into college was that Lauren would pay for half. I'd pay 400 and she'd pay 400. But before moving to college, she lost her job and was not able to cover her $400 for the first month. So I said, okay, Lauren, I mean, we've been dating for a long time. I like you a lot. I'll cover you this month, but you really do have to pay me back because money's tight. And then she never did, Your Honor. October? She did not pay in October. November? No, sir. So zero has she zero. paid. All right. Zero. And her parents don't support her or couldn't support her? That's... For whatever reason, they did not, Your Honor. Okay. Ma'am? I, I did not have a job at the time. Mm -hmm. He knew I couldn't afford rent. I would have asked my parents if he had asked me for the money, but he never came up to me and said, I need you to pay this month. I would have done it. Did I told you all you. ever agree to splitting the rent? Yeah, we did enter into a well, verbal agreement. Why does he agreement. have to ask you again? If you got an agreement, you know you owe him. Nobody have to ask you. Phone bill don't call you every month, do they? <laughs> Verizon no. or AT&T, they don't call you and ask for their money. No, they cut it off if you don't pay him. He, I told him that I couldn't afford it. And he afford. put you out if you don't pay him. I told him I couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. And he said, all right, that's fine. I can do it. So I didn't. I said he said that you would never month. have to repay him, though. Maybe eventually, but I... Okay, well, eventually is now. <laughs> now, what's your, what property damages are you suing for? All right, Your Honor, I'm suing for the destruction of my Samsung smart TV, valued at $800. You have estimates? Yes, Your Honor. She smashed your television. What else? And then she smashed my antique plates, which I think are priceless. Priceless, Here. you're saying? This is the uh, total summary sheet, including the lease and all okay. the destroyed property. What defense do you have, ma'am? He provoked me years of worrying whether or not he was cheating. Uh, I think that is When did your first worry where... come? I'm sorry? He said you were worrying. He had you worrying. Couple months in. He okay. was always... Okay, and you all went together how long? We were together for two years. Okay, so you worried, That right? he was cheating on me because he was always flirting with yeah, other but girls. But you knew by the second month that he was doing it. Sure. Instead of stopping then, you said, I'll just do I couldn't 22 confirm. more months of it. Yeah. All right, judgment for the plaintiff. That's no defense. Have a good day. Well, you know, Lauren, all throughout the relationship, she had communication problems. She never confronted me when she thought that I was cheating, and then she never said anything. I did. No. I did. All she did was smash my TV and throw my plates against the wall. You knew I was worried about you cheating on me, but... You know, you never seem to address the concerns. You always just wrote me off as crazy. Which you are. I'm not, but thanks. Plaintiff Daniel Fadizzle and his wife Daniela say Daniel dated the defendant and she still wants him. So she called him last night to hook up. Daniel's suing because he claims the defendant damaged his property after a fight with his new wife. Defendant Mikayla Ortiz says while dating Daniel, she ignored a lot of red flags because he showered her with gifts to manipulate her. However, when she was six months pregnant with his child, Daniel's father told her he was cheating. Mikayla is countersuing for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. may now be seated.
start with you. Your Honor, the only reason why we're here is because my ex-girlfriend, she, she still wants me. Um, I mean, do I'm, you? No. The father of a child, she's jealous of my new wife and I. And Are you? No. She even tried to call me last night and hook up with me. Did you? Family. No. <laughs> <laughs> she denies all of that. It's not a figment of your imagination. Is it a figment of his imagination? Yes, he's a narcissist thinks more of himself than he should. Yeah. You know, a lot of people use that word now, and it's an extreme love for yourself is what it is. Comes from the myth of a man who loved himself so much, he was looking in the water, and he saw the reflection of himself, and he loves himself so much, he dived into the water for, into his own reflection, and of course, he drowned. I'm not that, Your Honor. No, no. That's not me. That's not me. Just letting you know what it is. <laughs> uh, tell me what type of uh, things give you cause to believe she's jealous. She wants you back. She's told me even after the birth of our son and me being married that she loves What'd me. What'd you tell her last night when she called? Um, she basically, she just asked me, was my wife there? I was said, she? Yeah, she was, but I didn't tell her. I didn't know. You didn't tell your wife? I didn't tell her that my wife was with me. You didn't she have doesn't to tell your wife anyhow. You're not lying if you don't tell her. You're just trying to keep a confrontation from occurring. Okay, a girl call you or hit on you. I mean, when that happens, I don't run home and tell my wife every time <laughs> a woman hit. Baby, a woman hit on me. Well, she was there. She was. She heard the whole conversation. Okay. So. All right. You get hit on often. Do I? Uh huh. No, not much. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> Give me your side, ma'am. This man has made my life a living hell. Um, he lives 15 minutes away. He doesn't help with our son at all. How old About is your child? Six and a half months. And give me some background on your relationship with him. Um, we dated on and off about three years. Um, in our relationship, I noticed a lot of red flags. Often when I would confront him about these red flags, he would just like shower me with gifts and distract me and manipulate me. And when his dad had saw that I was pregnant, his dad just basically told me the truth about all my suspicions. And I have a conversation here. Let me see it. Basically of his dad just letting me know about his cheating. Your dad snitched you out, huh? Wow. This is your father. He really got you, man. <laughs> this is horrible. I can't. First, he starts out with, I can't say anything. <laughs> but. but. However, <laughs> you know what he's is. doing? He's been having sex with you and multiple girls, one after another, to this very day. I thought you knew. And it wasn't in my place to say anything. Well, when did it become your place, daddy? When he saw that I was pregnant. He thought you, oh, he saw that you were pregnant. All right, and he wanted the best for his grandchild. Yeah. All right, you want to tell me anything else about the relationship? Yes, Your Honor. I met Mikhaila when I was 18 years old. We were dating for about three years on and off. It was a rocky relationship. And I would say like the last straw since we were dating was when she steals a lot of money from me. She would go through my drawers. In one particular instance, she stole my bank card information and bought $400 worth of Sephora. Is she a crackhead or something? <laughs> um, you don't use crack, do you, man? No. So she calls. Not, not no more? <laughs> never. Never, be, never did? OK. So she knows this. She calls me around my 21st birthday. She says, Daniel, I miss you. I'm sorry. We were intimate one last time that night. We split after that. And, and we you were all intimate. believe that was the night? That was the night, you, definitely. She was impregnated? Yes. The same month, I believe, I met my beautiful wife, Daniela. This is my wife. Um, starting a new relationship with Daniela, she contacts me saying, Daniel, I'm pregnant with your child. But yet, I was very skeptical. I'm saying, I'm seeing her with other men. I'm seeing her. Um, is that right? Well, as her, with no. other men? As the progression, no. I have the photos. As the progression of her pregnancy, this is her in her home, posted on social media of another man rubbing her belly, her Let swollen. Me see that. Ooh, rubbing the baby of your, ooh, ooh. Rubbing your unborn child. That's not me. That's not me. 
Did you tell the guy it was his baby or something? No, I knew it was Daniel's baby. And the guy knew? That's mm -hmm. my question. Yeah. And he's behaving like this all for somebody else's baby? <laughs> Rubbing somebody else's baby down, listening to the heartbeat? <laughs> he must have thought it was his. No, he didn't. But, Your Honor, I, I try to be supportive because I knew that there was a chance that that was my son. All right. DNA test proved that I am happy to be my son's father. I'm, I'm his dad. All right, so why are we suing you? What happened? Um, on December 9th, she called me and she said, hey, can you watch the baby? I said, sure. She's like, it's Friday night. I want to go out with my girlfriends. I haven't had a night out. I said, sure, no problem. She, she's like, okay. She brought the baby. Um, when she got there, she was supposed to leave. She says, oh, I'm tired. Um, I want to I wanna take a nap before I go out. I say, well, she was nice. I said, okay, you know, I understand. You were watching the baby all night. She never left. She never wanted to leave. I'm, hours go by, hours go by. Um, my wife, she well, was my girlfriend at the time. She's coming home. I contacted her, I texted her, said, don't come in. I think Mikhail is on games. Um, just stay outside. I'll hand you your laptop through because she needed to do her homework. I'll hand you your laptop through the window. Mikaela sees her at the window, outside the kitchen window. She comes and she opens the window. She starts throwing glasses at her. She's calling her B words out of her name, everything, saying she's going to kill her. She climbs out the window of my kitchen window. They began fighting. My dad's home. I said, Dad, watch my son. I need to break this up. Yeah, be careful what you say. She's ready to go. So basically, I break up, I break up the fight. I, um, someone yelled out during the fight, I'm calling the cops, I'm the property manager of our building. After the fight, I leave, she's still outside, she obviously gets back in, my dad was supposed to be just watching the baby, he let her back in. You know, I, he's, I don't know, he's jealous of me because, yes, in the, in the past, Your Honor, I do admit, I have had a, quite a bit of women, so, I mean, he's, he sees it. And, um, I thought you said women didn't come after you like they come after me. <laughs> No, they don't, I mean, not just throwing themselves at me, but... See, you lying. I, I, See, you, yeah. you no, caught I, him in a I lie already, so watch him. I'm with you now. We didn't caught him in a lie that quick. I thought, handsome young I, man, well-spoken. I said, I know the women no, are coming for it's you. Not like That's that. why I said, you know, I know they half want me because I'm on TV, but you was straight up looks and game and uh, nice looking guy. But you gonna lie about it. Just take you to the local place and all the women to be coming at you like that. Just trying to be When y'all go out, don't the women look at him uh, at the side of their eye? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, I know they do, and he's trying <laughs> to act like he's not. I, you ain't have to tell me you've had plenty of women over the years. All right. Okay. And what property exactly? Um, my bed. She threw my bed out the window. How did she get your bed uh, out the uh, window? I have no idea. I have the photos here, though, if you want to see. It was a comforter. Here's uh, the <laughs> list, the property list. I can't pick up my mattress. You tell me what happened, ma'am. Okay, so he's saying that he asked me to leave because his wife was coming home. That's false. He was ignoring her because we were having sex. That's the truth. You know I knew that. Go ahead. Exactly. <laughs> How you gonna hand your woman something out the window? Here, here goes something out the window. Now go, I got to That's finish why, what I'm doing. That's why he ignored Nobody her. crazy. That's go why ahead. he ignored her. And he, he left. He left me and the baby and his dad in the apartment. He left. It was people coming Tell in Tell me what you did. I did um, destroy his... Why? You couldn't control your emotions? Because throughout Thought you said you weren't in love with him anymore. You were I'm right not. the first time, sir. Anybody do all that? They're in love with you still. You're right. I just had a baby. No, you love him. I mean, I do love him. He's the father of my You're son. in love with him. No. You want him back. No. You do. No. <laughs> all right, you ain't got over him. Yes, I'm over him. However, I destroyed the stuff because throughout the whole relationship, he physically abused me, mentally abused me. No, I didn't. We just had, I have a police report. Let's from see the police report and let's see me. your list of the items she destroyed. Her police report. A list, Thank just you. one list. I have pictures of bruises. Oh, there you go. Thank you. And was he prosecuted? Um, no, I didn't press charges. And then I have some pictures of some bruises. Let him see them. Sir, I'm looking at it. It does have you, uh... He wrote having... on my door in blood. Time... He said, me. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. Mm. I, I don't have anything. I don't, know what, I don't know what this is. Nonetheless, he says you destroyed it. I'm looking at 
$10,000 worth of items, ma'am. She stole money from the tenants. Like, I, I take care of the rent and she took the rent out the envelope. I had, now to, pay, doing all this still, I had to pay the uh, money back. He said, you steal everything that's not nailed down. He said, you're going to his pockets. You klepto. <laughs> <laughs> now, back to your emotional distress. You filed these police reports. Did you ever follow up? Um, no, I just... Domestic violence. Uh, stated that Danielle had, did become extremely aggravated and began choking her and then pushed her down, hitting her face down on the bed. Your photos. She's pointing to where she was choked. She's showing something. He wrote this in, yes. in blood? On my door. In blood? Yes. So I believe her. I believe you sir, did. Sir, that was not I believe you did him. I believe that it. was not me. I believe it. I did not do that. I yet. believe it, sir. $5,000 is your judgment, and I'm going to give you $2,000 for your emotional distress because I believe what I've seen and what I've read. I don't think that you would make all that up several Driver, times. I was never... Con I, never I got did you, that. sir. And she dropped them. She didn't want to pursue it, but she certainly talked to the police and told them, so I don't I mean, know what I, happened If there. I'm abusive, why would she call me last night trying to have sex with me? Because she's you. over that. And it's, Want back to wanting some. Five thousand for you and two thousand for you. You and your wife. Would you like my ring? You know I never touched you. Why would you say that? Thank you. Girl, bye. I've never attacked this woman. I've never attacked bye. any woman. Just build a relationship with your son. You live fifteen minutes away, and you have not seen him. That's why I followed for shared parenting, okay. and you declined it. I guess you just can't get over him. 